Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a quick uh, technology-based uh, talk and it's going to be about the Adobe Flash Player. Um, you can see here on the screen um, it's coming to end of life. Uh, very soon here at the end of 2020, today is November the 11th, 2020. And I've done a lot of research into the subject um, just for professional reasons and I wanted to share with you in this video uh, some things that may help you. I just want to give a disclaimer. Please don't come to me with all of your problems. I mean, yeah, I can try to answer some of your questions. There's so many people looking into this and a lot of people have not prepared for uh, dealing with this. Um, I'm not going to read through all these contents. You can do the research yourself. You probably came to this video because you're aware that at the end of this year uh, pretty much all the Flash players are just going to stop working. You're not going to be able to load website contents that has Flash. It's essentially like a kill switch. Um, when that actually happens, I have a feeling through testing and stuff like that, it's probably somewhere in the middle of January of 2021. We will see how it all unfolds. There's many variables here. Number one, which browser? Which browser are you using? You know, Chrome, Firefox, uh, Internet Explorer, whatever. Number two is the Flash Player itself has um, its own criteria when it dies. And number three, the operating system you're using. So you have the browser, you have the F Adobe Flash Player, and you have the operating system you're using. And all three of those things are working against you um, because they all have certain things that they're going to do to try to make Flash not work. Today I'm just going to address the Adobe Flash Player itself and some some things you can potentially do to make Flash work. Hopefully you've got a plan in place that sometime in 2021 you're going to um, move away from Flash to something else, but this video will hopefully help you if uh, you need a little bit of extra time. So this link talks about a number of things. It says at the end of the year, December 31st, that's the end of life date, EOL. And you're SOL basically at that point in time. Uh, meaning if you have applications that use Flash, all the claims say it's going to stop working. All the browsers are going to you know, do certain things. Adobe Flash itself will stop working. And I'm just going to show some tests um, here. So let's uh, start off by doing a quick test here. I'm just going to do a very simple test showing you um, A sample website that uses Flash. So today uh, in 2020 you go to visit a website you get this thing and I'm using Linux as my operating system it's the same for Windows and Mac maybe some slight differences but overall it's the same same problems you're gonna see so I click on this run Adobe Flash I have to click allow and you can see the Flash content works there it's all good now um, what I'm going to do is kill all my instances of Firefox and um, I'm going to change the date to, as you can see here on the screen, I'm going to change it here to 2021. Okay, and I'm going to change it to 133 2021. So you can see the date is Thursday, November 11th, 2021. Um, this same behavior will be at some point in January of 2021. I've done some testing there. I think somewhere around January the 12th or 15th or something like that. Okay, so now I'm going to open Firefox again. And we are going to... Okay, so we're visiting this test website again. I click this, allow, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. This is what you're going to see when Adobe Flash disables Flash. So you click on this link and it's going to open up. You're not going to see all these warnings. It's saying this because I'm, I've set my date ahead to next year and the browser doesn't like that. Um, 
So if I come over here, it's going to go to Adobe's website and it's going to say end of life. Basically, you're done. There's not much you can do. Um, however, there is something you can do. And let's talk about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that this works. I'm going to kill all the instances of the browser, not just the one window. Close all the instances of the browser. I'm going to show you that you can create a configuration file to override that behavior. And for me, I'm in this certain folder for Linux. There's different folders in Windows and Mac. It's all documented on Adobe's website. But you can see here in this mms.config file, I'm going to turn on these settings, enable allow list, and then I'm going to set one line giving access to any any spot on this ultrasounds.com website, I allow it to load flash content. And you can do multiple lines with different websites and different patterns, and it's all documented in terms of what's supported. And I'm going to save this file. I'm going to close it. And now I'm going to uh, open Firefox again. And we're going to visit. And remember, this is the computer thinks it's 2021. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to click Run Adobe Flash. I'm going to click Allow. Hey, it works. And the only reason it works is because I created that configuration file. I put it in the right place, and it's all good to go. Let's get into some of the details now. So I'm going to set my date back to normal, uh, 2020. Otherwise, the rest of my computer is going to start freaking out. Five. Okay. So, if we take a look at all this detail, um, you'll also notice Microsoft has a uh, posting here saying Microsoft Windows will be, you know, Internet Explorer eventually is going to tell you to uninstall Internet Explorer and use Chrome, uh, or Microsoft Edge, sorry, which is built on Chrome. And at some point in 2021, Windows will remove the Flash Player. So I'm just warning you guys. Um, but here on this Adobe Flash Player End of Life Enterprise Information page, you're going to notice it talks about, uh, I'll try to zoom in on this page to give you the details. Number one, if you're an enterprise customer, there's Harman Solutions, Harman Connected Solutions, and that's a, a partner that works with Adobe, and they will offer a web browser based on Chrome or Internet Explorer, actually not based on Internet Explorer. You'll have to use Internet Explorer and then they'll have some solution with that. But I highly recommend use their Chrome browser. So if you're an enterprise customer, you could reach out to them, get a license, use it for the year, probably your best option. But anyway, for this video, if you're going to use the enterprise enablement support option, uh, essentially what that allows you to do is you create a configuration file like the one I just did Put it in the right folder, uh, re close all the instances of the browser, restart it, and it's going to read override information. And for the specific websites you target, it's going to allow you to use the Flash Player. It's all documented in this link, the Flash Player Administration Guide. If I go there, you're going to see there's a whole section here talking about uh, allow, enable allow list. And then there's this other setting allow list URL pattern. And they have examples here about how all of this works. And essentially, that's what I did. I made this example for you guys to show that this does work. Um, and I showed you that the Flash Player will stop working um, in 2021. And a couple things to note. I'm not going to go over all the details. I will put the links to all of these pages in the description of this video. But uh, the location of the MMS.CFG file, that's pretty important. So I'm going to scroll down here. Chapter 5, this is on page 36 of the uh, administration guide. You're going to see here, they say, for Windows, you got to put that file in these fol one of these folders. If you're running the 32-bit version of Windows, it goes here. If you're running the 64-bit, it goes here. If you don't know which one, put it in both. Uh, just take a copy of that file once you've created it, put it in both. Um, if you're on Mac, it's got this folder here. If you're on Linux, you're in etc. Adobe. And if the folder doesn't exist, you're going to have to create it like I did. So I'm in etc. Adobe and I created
created that mms.config file. I'll just quickly output the contents to the screen here. And uh, you can see I added a couple lines to support that little website I was doing a demo for. Um, very important. If you're using Google Chrome, Google Chrome uses its own built-in Flash player. It's called the Pepper API. So if you're using Google Chrome and you want to do this override, you're going to have to follow these instructions here under Chrome, and it uses a different location. If you're using Google Chrome on Mac, they have this location. If it's on Windows, it's stored under every user that uses that desktop. They have like under the special folder, app data, local Google Chrome user data, default pepper data, shockwave, flash system. If the system directory doesn't exist, it says here, create it, put that mms.config file in there, stop all instances of the browser of Chrome, restart it, it works. I tested this on my wife's laptop, exact same behavior I just showed you guys here, it does work. Um, if you, I did a little test, uh, she uses Yovil. It's a very large Flash application that's part of Facebook. Um, and I got it to partially work, but not fully. Uh, I think it's because I didn't add enough uh, override URLs to the configuration file. I added like yoworld.com and that wasn't enough. It kind of got further, so it didn't block that application. It did load it, but then when it went to load the game, I think there's other URLs it was looking for that I didn't add. So I didn't finish that one, but case in point, the config file does work. Make sure you put it in the right location. Read the documentation carefully. There's a lot of other settings you can do in this file. But uh, hope that helps you guys. Um, if you have a problem where you absolutely must access a Flash application, there's some things you can do. No guarantees. I mean, any of the web browsers could do something to remove any support for Flash. Adobe could do more things that they didn't tell us about to further disable it. And of course, the operating systems, they're working hard to get rid of it. So just be aware, you probably need to lock down your environment. You probably don't want automatic updates for your browser for your operating system, but then that means you're not going to get security fixes, right? Same thing with Flash Player. So you're kind of on your own in that point, but uh, this is an option you can do. Uh, hopefully this has helped you. If you have smashed the like button, add your comments below. If I get a ton of comments on this video, I may not answer them all. I'll do the best I can and have a great day. Thanks guys.